Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. Today we're going to talk about how to choose the best flashlight for you. Now perhaps the most important factor when considering a new tactical flashlight is your mission distance, your mission range. And refer you to our video blog and our written blog on understanding candela for some details on how that works. But in a nutshell, you want to consider the farthest distance you're going to need to illuminate for your given application. Now, because of the way the F01 standard is written, as a rule of thumb, you're going to want to take that distance and roughly double it when shopping for flashlight beam distance ratings. Again, our video blog on understanding candela will give you more details on that. Now, once you've identified your mission range, that's going to allow you to calculate that beam distance rating you're looking for. Now is the time to consider the form factor of your flashlight. Form follows function. So if there be a flashlight that's dedicated to handheld use, something like an LZ Charlie modular flashlight will serve you well. Or if it's going to be a flashlight that's going to be double duty. Sometimes you're going to use it in a flashlight mount on a rifle or shotgun. Other times you're going to want to use it handheld. Something like an LZ Bravo, which is our two cell model, or an LZ Alpha, which is our single cell model, will serve you well. Identify that form factor, and then you're set to go on to the next step. Now the next step is the consideration of lumens. Now we have a video blog on lumens, but more importantly for what we're talking about today, I encourage you to look at our video blog on the FL1 standard to understand how lumens and runtime are rated officially and how it's very misleading, how it's impossible from official ratings to compare apples to apples when evaluating flashlights. That aside, our goal is to obtain the largest area of uniform illumination at our mission distance. Now, once the beam distance spec or the candela spec is obtained, now we can look at lumens. And in general, the more lumens for a given beam distance or candela spec, the larger the area of illumination. And that's what we're after. Now, this is a lot of information. And while a flashlight is a humble device, selecting the appropriate one is not necessarily simple. So let's try to sum it up with an example. Let's say I need a flashlight for home defense. First step, identify my mission distance, my mission range. Let's say it's 35 meters. So to find the beam distance rating, I want to double that. So it's 70 meters. Again, look at understanding Candela blog to understand why that is. Now, I've got that beam distance specification goal of 70 meters. Now I want to consider how this flashlight is going to be used. Well, I'm going to use it handheld to search my home, and I also want the ability to put it on a shotgun. Now, finally, I want to be able to achieve my ultimate goal of the largest area of uniform illumination possible at my given mission distance. That mission distance, 35 meters, so my beam distance spec I'm looking for is 70 meters. Now, when we consider all those factors, we'll find that a flashlight, something like an LZ model Bravo 342 meets those requirements. Its rated beam distance is 76 meters, very close to that 70 meters we're looking for. It's a two cell model, very good for handheld use. We'll quickly install an LZ ZSM shotgun mount, and it produces 650 lumens. So at that rated beam distance or mission distance, it's going to provide a very wide area of uniform illumination. Now those are some basics. There's also some other things you want to consider. First off, we want that large area of uniform illumination. We want it to be a nice neutral white color. We don't want it to be blue. We want to be able to rightly identify the colors. Check out our video blog on beam tint to understand the importance of that. Also, this is a tactical flashlight. By its very definition, it's going to be used in harsh environments that require extreme durability to take the abuse it's likely to see. So we need extreme durability that comes only from having fully potted electronics. Again, we have a video blog on that. And we don't want some little cheap two millimeter cover lens over a vulnerable reflector. We need a solid acrylic optical lens. Check out our video blog on beam projection for more details. So rolling all these considerations together, you can see it's a complex problem to select the flashlight that's best for you. 
but take the time, do the research, make sure you get the flashlight that's going to make you a tactical flashlight powerhouse.